What's going on everybody, it's Josh. Today is Wednesday and uh, Karina, Parker and I are going to go on a little tiny secret toy hunt, if you wanna call it that. Um, there's a local shop, uh, Time Warp Toys and Collectibles. Um, I've been there plenty of times over the years. I've shown their booths off at local shows. Um, but a couple of days ago he posted some uh, old school wrestling t-shirts back from like the WWF and WCW days. Um, and as you guys know, well, you probably actually don't know because I've never said this, but I started buying um, some Jordans and stuff because I used to not collect them, but I had like 10 or 12 pairs of Jordans that I would like to rotate out through. Um, I've always loved shoes and I sold all of my Jordans back in the day to start buying toys. Um, but now that I have a collection that I am happy with and I've sold everything that I really wasn't feeling at the moment, um, I have a little bit of cash, so I bought some Jordans right before all this stay-at-home orders started. Because <laughs> um, I wanted to, to have nice shoes and clothes and just stuff that makes me as a person feel better. I know that's very materialistic, but I mean, it's the same thing with toys. Like, the, the toys gives us uh, that, that temporary high or whatever you guys want to call it. Um, so I'm going to go check out some of the, the vintage or old school shirts. I don't want to say vintage because they're not from like the 60s and 70s or whatever. So old school shirts. Um, and then we're going to look around the shop real quick. He's only letting people in that um, have purchased things already. So I don't think there'll be anyone else in the shop besides us and him. Um, so we'll maintain the social distancing and all that stuff. Um, but I do want to say before I get too far into this video, um, I now have a kind of concrete uh, Twitch streaming schedule. I'm going to stream Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Um, I'm going to try that for a couple weeks and see how that works while I have nothing else to do. Um, so a Twitch, my Twitch link will be down in the description. If you guys just want to follow it, um, it's there's nothing monetarily involved with it unless you choose to. Um, but honestly, just watching the stream helps me more than you guys know. So. If you can, follow. If you want to watch me play some Call of Duty, play some Resident Evil, and then there's a couple other games that I'm bouncing back between. Um, feel free to check me out there, but enough of the intro. We're going to get to this, make it super quick, so it's probably going to be a short video, so I apologize in advance, but I'll see you guys there. Okay, so we just walked in. They, uh, they've re they've redone, revamped their store, so the layout, let me take this off while I'm talking. I just don't want that hanging from my ear. Um, They've done a lot of different, so I'm, before I start digging through the shirts and stuff, I, I want to show you guys all the toys and, and what 99% of you guys came here to uh, to see. But I already see a couple shirts that I do like, but let's see, what can I start with? Some of the new Hasbro Rangers. They got Black Ranger, Beast Morphers, Goldar, White Ranger, and then they have some of the old Bandai. Was that Mattel? Was that who did those? I think. Yeah. I remember when that Red Ranger was going for stupid money. Is this that one? Yeah. Yeah, he used to be like, what, like $100-ish? No, Mattel did not. Didn't, I don't think Mattel did these. I'm an idiot. Anyways, forget that I said that. But yeah. Um, some of the old flip heads. Here you go, Jared, your boomer. Boomer flip heads, Jared. Insane goon boomer. <laughs> uh, it's too funny. Uh, yeah, they have just a lot. And here's just an overview of everything that they got going on right now. Yeah. This is the uh, old school vintage collection. It's nice to see what other Star Wars stuff we got. Black series, some of the archive. I remember way, way, way back when before I, I think before I was recording, they had a bunch of uh, carded Clone Wars stuff that I got from them. It was fun. Obviously the good old Toy Biz. X-Men stuff. The newer Marvel Legends. Green Forge. Eagle and then the Game Reverse Spidey. Crazy to see the transition between those toy biz, that toy biz, and then this Hasbro. And a bunch of the old bigger fig toy biz stuff. What dude, the Fortnite stuff? <laughs> you guys have that already. I don't have it. Yeah, you do. No? Yeah. 
I got it for you and Riley. Let me see it. You got it. Okay, Riley. maybe maybe you guys don't have that specific one. Well, Riley bought this for himself. So yeah. this one comes with this. Okay. This one, this one. You guys both play with it though, dude. Let's see, here's some bunch of pops. Some wrestling. Yeah, like see. Look at all these t-shirts. I don't know what this one is. Uh, like the old Monday Night Raw shirts. Bruce Springsteen. Yeah, I'll be excited to go through these. Hopefully get a couple of them at least. Becky Lynch. Very cool. I think those back there are some other uh, nicer pops. I'm trying to think what would be some cool ones to show. Oh, I like that. That salty. You guys can't see it. The Funko Shop one. <laughs> oh, a bunch of wrestling rings. What, dude? This one. <laughs> Ratatouille. Some Lego stuff. Wow. These display cases are new, aren't they? Uh, or rearranged. rearranged, yeah. I think they were probably in that, that square. Yeah, the, the middle square. Yeah. All the time. yeah, no. I like this. I like the aisles. These are nice. We do too. Uh, we had it like that for a few months before we had to close up. Man, it helped the flow a lot. I bet. Do we have this done? We have this done in time for Halloween last year, didn't we? Yeah, that's what was our goal was to get it done so people could. Like we we were close for almost different. two weeks, like, and I don't know why. Maybe we shouldn't have done it, but I was like, you know what? I'd rather have people walk around in the mess like oh, we yeah. normally do. Let's just close, <laughs> and we kept it closed until we had it ready, and man, it looked good. Yeah, I like it a lot better, honestly. Well, here's some Dragon Ball statues. I think I have this one. Not for sure. Billy would probably, yeah. Billy would probably dig these. These are cool. I like the these the ones that stand, just chilling. I like the bigger ones for sure. Yeah, I like that one. Very cool. I might pick him up. I don't. I usually only like to buy the the manga or the manga versions of the, the bigger ones but that's pretty cool and it's in good condition too i mean none of the hair tips are broke off or anything i'll set that down and check that out i like this majin vegeta statue though it's cool to see the two of them like that I like that and bunches of uh wwe i think these are all the, yeah the old elites Crazy how much, much some of these go for. That Bret Hart shirt's cool. Yeah, it's a WCW. Pretty Is it really? Wow, that's crazy. Some people like these weird like members jackets, and there's like all kinds of different ones there. Some of them are like union things. Some of them. Damn, that's an old. That's an old whatever. Kellogg's thing. That Kellogg's. That's a. Uh, Damn. Back during Dream Team era, <laughs> you would uh, send your purchases and send it off with money. And that's crazy. Save up for a jacket. Yeah, you should rock this. I forget what that material is called, but like. It's like paper. Yeah. It's, like paper mache. It's so silly how, how weak it actually is. But that is awesome that though. That was your, your prize. Oh wow, this is an extra large too. That's the stuff I just pulled out this morning. Is it? Yeah, there's, there's some cool ones in there. That's there's like sick. a weird like, uh, WCW Four Horsemen. So it's not the original Four Horsemen, but it's got, I think it's Crispin Walls on it. Wow. Right. I pulled that Zack Ryder because I figured with his current popularity, an older Zack Ryder shirt might Oh, 100% and CM Punk. That last one before That's the That's crazy. Punk, okay, I want to try to give you guys a little bit more toy content. Um, got a bunch of shirts and stuff picked out over there, but we got to skedaddle. We spent a little more time in here than I thought I would, but I want to keep these guys safe. But got some cool Dragon Stars figures. Buddy cards aren't supposed to. Oh, that. Never mind. There was something. Oh, the. Where's the Bugs Life? Look at these. These are hilarious. 
a little old school. What year would this have been? 94? I don't see anything. Hmm. Let me see. I don't know. What year did Bugs Life come out? Can I see? There's no trademark on them. Oh. You remember that movie? Oh, yeah. Wait. We caught that one. This one. What? On Animal Crossing? <laughs> Tombstone Terror. I think I showed you guys this. What have I not showed you? Oh, here's a cool Darth Malgus statue. General Giant. That's pretty cool. I like that one. That's, that's pretty cool too. I like these statues. They have a six scale Superman. All the way over there. That I just saw. I know they have some stuff over here too. Who's calling me now? School? Okay. School's calling me with no school in session. Got it. Some old, are these older Godzilla figures? They're, uh, or are they like semi new? Late 90s, early 2000s. Oh, okay. Uh, a lot of them are like weird Japanese import things. Yeah, those are cool. I like that, the moth. Yeah. Or whatever. Wow, some of them still have tags on them. That's cool. They got like this really thick, heavy duty, like cardboard tag on them. Yeah, those are. Those are cool. Definitely different than the uh, ones. Right, right. <laughs> now, are those the diecast WCW cards you were yeah. you talking about? Those are cool. Man, lots of cool stuff. There was something I was just looking at. What was it? Oh yeah, these Transformers. Once again, zero <laughs> idea what I'm looking at. But at least I want to show it off to you guys. Hmm. So we're getting ready to leave and it's this. Oh, you can't really see probably. But it's very windy out here. Which is good. But I just picked out a bunch of shirts. Uh, let me But I got some shirts. Parker got a, a Rey Mysterio wrestling mask. A couple of packs of cards. And I think he got like a little um, die cast Hulk fighter jet thing i'll show you guys but just want to give a big shout out to these guys time warp toys and collectibles there in fairborn their uh, stuff will be down in the description their address um i think they're doing more of their online stuff obviously right now because like i said they're not open uh to the public just the people who want to pick up and buy some stuff wow this is uh it's getting pretty crazy at least my car's getting washed though so that's good so right before i was about to leave um i looked down and they had some cool vintage turtle stuff that i wanted to show off some cool playmates play sets and then some actual carded figures but I figured I'd give this stuff some love because you never see it with <laughs> the Star Trek crossover these are cool yeah, this is Space is Soggy and these are really cool all the movie star ones wow <laughs> this hair on April was always so crazy yeah like the Barbie doll hair or whatever <laughs> Like, I wasn't like most boys. I didn't oh, mind man. having the girl character. No, not at all. But I didn't like the weird Full jungle set. rifle, and I didn't like the one that looked like a barbie. I liked the ones that were uh, just superheroes. Yeah. Super Mike. Oh, yeah, some old Joes too. Oh, wow. Yeah. Nice. Got Here you guys go. Box to your left. That's all Joes. This? Yeah, Holy smokes. Out, and some figures. old school Mortal Kombat. That Judge Dredd there is like a hundred dollar figure. That's that pit build a figure. Uh that Goro goes for a stupid ton now. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Yeah, I think I had probably just Sub Zero and Scorpion is what I had. Mm -hmm. Wow, those are cool. Wow, so here you guys goes for some old Joe figures. AW Striker. Try to pull out something for you guys. This is the stuff that will move online. Yeah. These, at least they're easy too. But yeah, so. Well, there's the turtle stuff. I just wanted to give a little bit of love on that, guys. Because I still appreciate that stuff. I like how you guys have all four Star Treks, don't you? Yeah. I think, yeah. That's cool. 
the day I posted it, I was like, very, very cool. Days. So back at the house, guys, um, I'm going to briefly show you all uh, the t-shirts and stuff that I picked up. I do want to say, uh, I guess, I shouldn't apologize, but I am anyways, um, that there is not like toy haul right now, but like I've told before, I just got to the point where I'm just going to show whatever in videos and do videos when I feel like it, but I wanted to support some, uh, at least a local toy store. Um, this is the closest, closest one to me besides Mike's Vintage, um, but he's doing a lot of stuff online. These guys, uh, Time Warp, they're not doing a whole lot online, so I figured if I can go in, spend some money uh, at their store, and hopefully it can help them out a little bit. So we'll, uh, we'll definitely be visiting them again once uh, all of this stuff is over with, but I got, I ended up picking up the, uh, the Hardaway Mitchell and Ness shirt, which I'm pretty excited about. <clears throat> and then the, uh, I think I showed you guys the old school, the Wolfpack NWO shirt. That is, it's too small for, or it's too short of a shirt, but I decided to get anyways. Then kind of for, uh, for some comedy, I got this Garth Brooks shirt. I'm not even that big of a country fan, but I don't know. Karina thought it was cool and I thought it would make my parents laugh because they know how I'm not in the country I am. Then I got this uh, Diamond Dallas Page shirt, brand new with a uh, starter, starter tag on it. And then it has the uh, the stitched in starter thing, which is kind of cool. Because back in the day, I used to wear starter a lot. You know, that was like the, the, the cheap brand stuff. And now all of a sudden it's super sought after. But got this, uh, the rock shirt. And the fact that it says Jabroni on the back, like it's a WWF shirt. So it's definitely like Attitude Era is absolutely hilarious. And then I got this, uh, McMahon flunked out of Stone Cold University. I just remember this, watching this stuff and I don't know. I just got this stuff super cheap. I bought, I think Karina got like four or five t-shirts as well. She got some like band t-shirts um, and a couple and a Cincinnati red shirt, I think too. And then I got my mom a, a tour t-shirt as well. But I only spent like $175 on all this. So pretty excited overall. Um, Parker picked up, like I said, he got a Rey Mysterio Jr. wrestling mask, and then he got a, a die-cast plane, I think. Yeah, the Hulk plane, that's right. Um, but anyways, that's going to do it for the video, guys. Once again, please follow me on Twitch if you guys want to help support me in other ways. Um, we kind of BS and, and talk in the chat on Twitch, just like it's a YouTube live stream. It's just, I'm playing video games while I'm talking to you guys. So, that's pretty much it, but, uh, thank you guys for the support thus far. Hope you guys are staying good and healthy through this uh, stay-at-home order, whatever you want to call it. But I, uh, I appreciate all the support very, very, very much. So I want to try to keep doing some of these videos and live streams. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you, and may the figs be with you.